Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Total War. Let's play as the Brutii. So to round off where we left off, we've pushed east. It looks like Mazaka is probably going to re Yeah, definitely going to rebel at 0% public order. Let's get rid of the sewers. So we've been successfully pushing east. We've got an objective to take the city of Antioch. And we have also declared war on the Thracians. The Marian reforms have kicked in, so we've got lots of men moving about and I am trying to uh, I am trying to upgrade my forces as much as possible but as it is we're going to continue doing what we're doing I want to start to get some free family members to uh, make some use out of the massive recruitment potential of these cities because Athens, Corinth and Sparta can produce a lot of men very quickly but as it is, I think there's not a lot we can do. Ah, so my assassins want to still want to carry on with this strategy of clearing out their uh, merchants. Let's go after this rebel merchant first. Push him up to the Capua merchant. We've got an assassin here. He's also going to move up in this direction. Assassin here, keeping an eye on Tillis or Tylus. You can push up. Ah, okay. So, looks like I can't do disbanding and all that sort of stuff from that menu, so let's do it here. Let's combine my Prince Pays as much as possible. So now it looks like they're no longer useful, so let's just dis dis uh, let us disband them. The Hastati, you could. There we go. So then you're probably useless. You can march the general in. And we've also got more reinforcements coming in. Two Triarii, two Praetorian Cohort. There's Roman cavalry running up towards Ankara. Not Ankara, Mazaka. Ankara, you start to knock out some early legionary cohort to send east. Um, I probably want, if these fellas can leave Nicomedia. Hey, there's an assassin. I probably want these guys to be the start of a new army. And ideally, I don't want cavalry. Ooh, Praetorians, yes. If they're upset, I will. I'm happy to recruit more Town Watch to cheer them up. These units that aren't. They're a bit too far away from the front line to be useful. Um, these guys can build. Put some archer auxilia, then probably mix in a couple of units of town watch here and there. These prince pays they can probably just be disbanded. You can go and ambush that Greek fleet there. And head back to Rhodes. We're still blockading the Greeks over here. Although they've got a navy in there. Um Okay, building, 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 building. Croton. You build a... Maybe get a awesome temple of Juno, Cydonia. You probably get a large temple of Mercury for the trade income bonus boost. That's everyone. Okay. And we successfully assassinated someone, so end of that. Ah, we've got an agent over by Armenia. Great, we've got trade rights, trade rights with them, so I'm not interested about that. Let's get them back down towards Egypt. Because they will likely be a future enemy. Yeah, we've been successfully ejected from Mazaka. Ooh, we've got one fleet action somewhere in the Med. And then another in northern... Turkey, which we did not win. It looks like they fought. It looks like they forced away my army in order to. Well, no, they forced away my navy in order to go and raid Armenian ports to the north. Hey, there's a Thracian spy. So you probably want. Ooh, Nicomedia is very unhappy. Really 
Anyway, no one can get there in time. Can these Prince of Peace... They can subdue, it te subdue them temporarily while they pick up two more units of Town Watch. But I want to re retrain these, these ships. Can these men sail back to somewhere? And some of these ships have to try and bolster other fleets. There we go. You come back to Rhodes. Announcements! Agent found. Lovavon, Germania. Balazora, Thrace. So up here... Because Lovavon is at the border, we've got good basic defences. Okay, let's... Let's start to keep, let's start to filter out some of these Hastati units. Let's, actually, let's disband one of them. We're going to recruit new, fresh units. Aquinsum is probably the same, but the territory is growing. Well, it's growing pretty well, and they're very happy with us because it's our faction leaders' territory. Popularity falls with the Senate. Say the V. City grows. Thermal. Thermal is has an imperial palace. Let's pick that up. It's grown up to a huge city. Croton. Croton's definitely a huge city at this point. Coming of age. Cassius Brutus at Apollonia. Ah, oh, damn, there's loads of kids here. Okay, let's get some of them. Let's get one of them out to garrison city at Corinth. Cassius. Cassius, Cassius, Cassius. Family tree. Cassius, it's Oppius's son. So not my direct line of line of generals. Cassius is more influence than command. Lots of good benefits though. I know what I might do. Cassius. This little transport fleet that's becoming much bigger and grander than a transport fleet. What? Not possible, sir. What? <laughs> What's this? Um, I can't see. Okay, can I pick up the ship that isn't? Okay, I can't get him off my boat. Well, let's leave him where he is. Oh, civil revolt. Mbazaka. Thank you, end turn. Let's put them back under siege, although not to immediately attack. And we could attack them. And lots of pence units. Oh, they got lots of. Oh, they're going to be sturdier. Now, let's hold off. We're, we're not in a rush. Especially as my army here is actually a bit knackered across the board. And also increasingly obsolete. If I'm going to have my armies pushing forwards, I'm going to want them up to date. Okay, enter. Let's see if that fixes uh, Cassius Brutus's problem standing on the boat. Otherwise, I might be just waiting for him to... Uh, Waiting for him to sort out his stuff. Ooh, okay, let's swap. Let's swap. Uh, I don't have any Hastati. I need to swap out one to get in these two Praetorians. Uh, let's get rid of... Those two units and bring in the Praetorians. It's about to happen again. <laughs> uh, who do I get rid of now? One unit of Hastati. Can bring in two units of Triarii. Hmm. 
Julia are wandering and trading or treating with the Spanish. You can see the Scipii very much are bugged because they should be expanding into they should be expanding into Carthage, but they're just not. Okay, let's put Tyus under siege. That's one they. Bastane. Two hit points. Expert hiding at woods. May charge without orders. Get one sap point. Actually, let's get two sap points. Three siege towers. I want to make sure I can definitely. I'm not going to get bottlenecked in any. I'm not going to get bottlenecked trying to climb the walls. So then these men push up as well. Bilazora, you're unhappy. She better stop recruiting, actually. Chuck in a few. Chuck in a town watch and a early legionary cohort. Okay, let's try it. Collect it by fleet. Yes, we moved the fleet. There we go. <laughs> right. Good to know. So if I sail him there and I wait till it specifically allows me to hover him. There we go. So the reason why I'm bringing this guy back is I want to bring him back to start building forts around or throughout Rome that we're going to slowly start filling with infantry here. Actually, I could do it with this guy, Caius Macro. Well, let's build a fort here. Let's go up towards Rome. Catch Rebel, rebel Settlement in Mazaka. Yeah, working on it. It's supposed to be very cavalry heavy. But that's why I'm trying to push up Infantry. Uh, Tarsus is very unhappy. Let's check out building browser Tarentum. Tarentum has also grown, so it's become an imperial palace. Apollonia. Build a dockyard. Salona. Build a. So build, a, build a trade building, Larissa. You can build an imperial palace, Athens. You can build a your large stone walls, Corinth. Specifically, try and knock out some of these cultural problem buildings. So let's get a upgraded walls, Thessalonica. Get basic roads, Sparta. Let's get big stone walls. Harlequinassus. Not really a problem culture here, but they are still a bit unhappy. So let's get an arena. Aquinsum to the north. Let's get roads to allow for rapid reinforcement. Love of them has a few more options. Uh, probably going to look at a stables to improve military production and also to knock off some cultural problems Pergamum let's get some walls Nicomedia is very unhappy it's driving your unhappiness Squalo is the big one okay let's get the baths to offset to replace the to be in pole position here uh, okay it looks like you might have to go in there as well, and maybe you guys all might have to go into Nicomedia in order to. Oh, okay. There's an assassin in here. Okay, let's keep building up the town watch contingent, lest we end up having to come back and and uh, slaughter them all. But that's everyone built. Tarsus is now our angriest settlement, which, from a construction perspective, is understandable. Are likely very upset from squalor. Distance capital is bad. Cultural penalty is pretty big. It's likely we may end up needing to recapture the city. They're not in revolt yet, which is positive. Let's start building some early legionary cohort just in case. 
the anchor is chill. Imperator. You're gonna come down and mm, do you or do you administer Corinth? Or well, probably yes. Realistically, I want you want these sorts of areas to be administered so that when they have children and marry, they actually you spread out where all the children are born and so on. So Tarentum, let's send these Triarii up to occupy the fort. Tarentum itself, you've got five turns, so that gives you time to build. Well, if it's five turns to build the Imperial Palace, and it's probably five turns to build the Urban Barracks, that means you can get through five units of Praetorian Cohort by the time the Urban Barracks is built. Croton could probably recruit Screw five legionaries. Chris has got a lot of legionaries. Let's march them over to Servius. Well, well, these two generals, they're going to be shipped over to the east and sent to try and do some administering. I may... I've got a spy and anchor still. Let's send the spy to the Synop. Town watch on spy duty. Ready to sail. Ready to sail. So these units are fully repaired or replenished. So Nico Media repair those ships. Perfect fit. Alright, so we've not done any warring. Let's take these guys and go and attack the damn Thracians. Nah, let's fight it, may as well. In there seems to be quite a lack of decisive engagements in this campaign, really. Unlike, you know, Empire, where it's routinely full stack versus full stack versus full stack. I don't know whether it's me being lucky on the campaign side, because we're attacking cities that are completely... Um, well, like, Thrace is at war with Scythia, so maybe all their armies are to the north, I don't know. Kicking. Let's just boot, get him into action. First of all, Praetorian Cohort. Some of them have their peeling out. Pretty damn awesome to me. We've also got Roman Cavalry, which are much more armoured. Well, they're actually heavy cavalry compared to Equites. Probably want. Let's get some of my Praetorians to pick up. Nah, Prince Pays. Prince Pays are okay to have the ram as well. But I just want a, a Praetorian unit somewhere. Okay, the Triari I can hunker down and deploy whichever section is needed. In terms of units, there's another unit of Triari. Then we combine these guys as, as an assault division. Combine these guys as an assault division. All our Praetorians are massed on the right flank. Hoplites will go straight through the middle. Actually, it's probably better off they go around to one of the flanks to try and head off any charges from the central square. Got a bunch of archers who are going to be engaged mercilessly by those towers. And we've got my general and four Roman cavalry. The fairy man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. More men, eh? Falx men, Falx men, very good in the com in combat, but they are very, very soft. So let's try let's try a bit of early engagement with our cavalry. To be honest, it looks like this is the direction they're coming anyway. Although I've not fought Falx men yet, so I'm a bit. This is going to be a bit of a cage study of how well they put up with a... I mean, I don't see any reason why a frontal charge wouldn't do okay. I mean, it's not going to be as good as a... 
rear charge, I accept, but let's get my general over to this side. Chiefly because I don't want them. I mean, they're heavy infantry, so they're likely to be quite sturdy, but I'm just curious how they do, how they put up with it. Not very well. God damn. Let's get those cover units out. It's not likely what I want. There we go. Well, enemy general is a bit of an overstatement. Sweet. This is the kind of army I want to fight on the open field. Yeah, now they're, this is a, well, they were fighting to the death. Okay, they're going to keep... Okay, just let them rout. I don't want to, uh... Well, I suppose it's probably worthwhile to knock them out because they're all they're only going to go to the center anyway and cause problems Our soldiers have done their work well the battering ram has broken through the gate <laughs> look at the weird pathfinding that it was trying to do then that it still wants to do to attack these men. Okay, there we go. Very well. You return to base. Huh. These guys seem determined to not do this properly. Very well. I wish, to be honest, part of me wishes I didn't even see their power finding because every time it just seems to get, it just seems to be a really weird setup. Okay. These Falksmen are ready. They can fire at will, puck their javelins. Impetuous. They might even charge us before we. Before they receive the order. You can fire at will, because you're going to huck him into the flank of those phalanx pikemen. Okay, the archers are firing. Delicious. I mean, I've got to... I got to admire the forearm strength of these guys to hold a spear like that. Uh, the drop of a hat, just with the tip of the tip of the wrist, put it down to a fighting position, and then with another flick of the wrist, just pick it up again. Without any complaint, seemingly. See if we can bait these chaps. Yeah, the Falksmen made it into the city, but there's only 550 of them. Let's see if we can bait these Phalanx pikemen. A, they're going to get shot to hell anyway. So this was experimented with, or this was what I was told to experiment with. Don't have guard mode default on. Get rid of that. Quite normally. I started behind the lines, I'm hucking a few javelins. 
Oh, beautiful. They're going to run straight through us. That's great. Same with those guys. Okay, let's stop all my artillery fire. Rome's finest, as you are. Begin the trek towards the centre. Same with you guys. Cavalry can come. There's only one way into this square. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Where am I? Oh no, there isn't. Okay, they come over this way. So they want to get over here through running through the square then along this way. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not where I want you at all. Let's bring up my pikes. Bring up my triarii. So what is this? This awesome temple of Di Dionysus. Dionysus. Get my archers out of type formation. Put them here. And let's speed up time. Who's left? Yeah, they're going to be shot out by the towers because we can't stop them. Oh. They ran the long way around to get into the square. They ran all the way down here, then onto the square. My infantry are going to be in a bit of a bottleneck, but at least they're not defending it like a bottleneck. To be honest, Prince pays. Oh, I've got some principes here. I want, need to, I want to try and right click and drag a formation to get them into the square, which means these, these this cover needs to run, which means you guys need to run, which means you guys need to run. You guys need to run, and you guys need to run. Because these are phalanx punkmen. They're not terrible. They're sturdy. But there you go, this is what I mean about their forearm control, or forearm strength. Like a pole that high. He's holding it. With zero. Zero movement. Keeping it straight. And then at the drop of a hate, he'll just go, fine, let me hold this parallel to the ground with one hand. Got it. Look at these Roman cavalry here. And here my general's trying to do it as well. Yeah, it's definitely not the... So we're going to lose a bunch of men to that combat. Yeah, that's starting it routed. Doesn't help. All my cavalry's pathfinding is bonkers. So who's that broken? Prince of Pays are broken. Probably took my uh No, look at my cavalry, you're like I want my cavalry. I don't mind them all routing. I just want my cavalry to do this. Then run away. It does seem a rather extreme reaction. 
gone through REI. I'm just seeing a bit of an extreme reaction that one general's bodyguard can route all the infantry, including some Praetorian cohort. The archers are engaging the phalanx pikemen. Surprising the Praetorians. Surprising the, tr the Praetorians broke so quickly. No, run away. <laughs> there you go. All these Triarii should do a real number on the General's Bodyguard. You guys keep shooting the General's Bodyguard. God, they're going down quick. Very well then. You guys continue to engage the Phalanx Pikemen. Good. It only took a whole load of Triarii to kill him. they got they're shaking you chase them down the gods who fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. so many men i haven't used well at all like a coward the enemy general there goes one general and now his men fear us it is time to oh, and the, the, the king the general himself was the last the last man standing anyway These cavalrymen seem content to just pick at the back of their to pick at the back of their lines rather than a devastating charge. There's two Falxmen remaining. Just give them the runaround and let my let my cavalry at the rear just keep picking at them. And then when they don't want to turn around. Okay, right, right, right. Marches. Stop what you're doing. Just let the cavalry unit take care of it. They're the only losing a lot of men for a rear charge. Cool. This has been a bit of a weird battle. <laughs> Lost a bunch of men, but we have we've captured quite a significant city, so I don't know if there's gonna be any problems in A retraining and B replenishing what we've got. I think way back when when I played Rome, I used to play it on on uh, normal, so maybe that's kind of why all the units seem that much more sturdy. We're going to exterminate the population. So we're not going to be able to retrain most, uh, quite a lot of our units actually, almost all of them in fact. Um, but the first thing we want to do is knock down this awesome temple and replace it with one of ours and a sewer. Let's repair the walls, let's take, let's have a look at the garrison and go, okay, these Praetorians are worth retraining. They fall back to Thessalonica. Legionary cavalry, let's get them up into the fight. Then over here we've got this fight against Tillis or Tylus. Got lots of Bastane. Still we could we could assault. Oh no we can't, we're still besieging the city. You guys may as well go in there for now while we merge and it's probably Get rid of that unit. This Roman cavalry unit merge with them. There we go. They finally worked it out. Although that's the one unit they were able to, do, to actually do some retraining of. Thessalonica without 
any other advanced men, advanced troops, we're going to push up some of those guys. Let's pick up some Town Watch, behind the line. Let's take these men plus these ships. And let's get them probably only to about here. Okay, everyone's crisscrossing their way around the continent. Let's go back over to here. You've moved, you've moved. Our oh, navy, our oh, general, our oh, assassins can just start killing. Uh, killing off <laughs> Roman merchants. So Byzantium, hey, got, this is our agent in Byzantium. Okay, secure the gold. So, here in Byzantium, Byzantium is a large city. It's going to take a while to become a huge city, but a large city is still good enough. We want to do a lot of upgrading, but we want these cheaper upgrades to go through first. Okay, I think, barring yeah, anything else, let's hit in turn. So I don't want to do any diplomacy with Egypt, because I'm pretty sure we've already got trade rights. We do. Just hit in turn. Just be ready in case they uh, start something. Hello, what does Julia wish of Aquinson? We request your help. They demand we attack Germania. For only 2,000. I don't think I need your measly 2,000, Buster. Until next time. Well, I am happy to focus my attention on pushing east. Well, east and north, kind of. New mission. Oh, yeah. Take back our rebel settlement. It's pretty handy. Yeah, the quality of roads here is a bit funky. You sail, try and get your troops over there. It's the next turn. So, building browser. Suggest a to the north. Build an archery range. And let's start to recruit some better troops to hold the city. Then we've got Kaidonia. Proconsul's Palace, because you've grown. Rhodes, you could get a great forum. Again, Tarsus is still very upset, and they're actually openly in revolt. So you're at low tax rate. Chill out. What can I do? It should be you should get a bit of a bonus once the uh, sewers are built. Town watch can stay where they are. In Byzantium, we built a new temple which we're going to replace with one of our own sewers and another temple it looks like we can only placate them for so long actually it looks like i mean some of these units are probably worth if we're not going to recruit anything certain things that don't involve um public order i can't demolish public roads Things that aren't worth a public order backlash, if we can't build things quick enough, it's probably worth knocking some of them down. I mean, it's unfortunate, but if we assume that we're not going to be recruiting out of Byzantium, then that will help free up a lot of... Well, it'll buy us some time from a public order perspective. Actually, it did say their squalor's not, quite, not very high, so let's swap those around, actually. Cavalry's moving in, the troops are moving in, these guys are moving back to Thessalonica. Our roads are starting to show gaps. So, let's pull two principes out, put two a legionary cohort Praetorians in, pull Astarte and probably Mercenary Peltast out, put more 
heavy troops in. Four more legionary cohort. That's probably enough to re replace all of their actual actual fighting contingent. Let's compare them actually to Hastin to. Okay, they are general. Generally, they're well, in terms of attack. They are armor. Oh no, sorry. Legionary cohort are just a general. I was doing something wrong. Legion cohort are just they're just a complete upgrade on Principes. So let's take you guys and march them across. So they got reasonable. They got a reasonable bundle of troops in there. So march my assassin up here just to get some visibility on what's going on to the north, and we're probably. I would like that other sap. Just to make sure we don't get bottlenecked. Uh, you can carry on doing what you're doing. We get rid of that starter unit. Nico Media, have you chilled out enough that I can do this? Kind of, is the answer to that. So I'm waiting. I would like a couple more units of good infantry. I may as well take I may as well take this time sieging a city like this to just build up my to build up my units because right now we are right now we are um, quite uh, our attacking armies now the Marian reforms have come in aren't in tip top shape. Oh right I can't do any of that because I haven't repaired my city barracks although it is Greek. Okay, let's try the same strategy. So let's destroy the Greek settlement. Let's destroy... Can't destroy walls. Destroy... The stables. Stop them from being too low. Just in time for us to get some of these buildings built. It's probably a good idea. Lots of our stuff is inactive, that's okay. Hey, our distraction leader is Pontifex Maximus. I mean, that means he's no longer a consul. Ah, looks like we actually lost. We lost two positions, lost a consul and the quester, but our guy, our guy's top dog. That's what matters. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. Okay, city expands. Cydonia, which we are building. Rioting in Tarsus. Oh, they destroyed their own barracks. Okay, pretty neat. Oh, was my my fort disappeared. So I didn't um you can't leave it unoccupied for so long, I suppose. Let's auto resolve that fight. Yes, we sunk both those Greek ships. Let's sink another one. We didn't sink it, but we made them fall back. Okay, right. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. The th the Thracians are coming. Okay, so if I do that and build the fort, occupy it, you men can push up. But the Thracians are coming. You men are going to be diverted north. Byzantium can't build anything, but we're going to be. Ooh, Bolasaurus unhappiness has spawned some annoying little scamps. Let's take these guys and go attack the rebels. It's easier to just get rid of them. We train those men, Bolasaurus. Keep recruiting legionary cohort. I mean, let's push them up, and we're probably going to. Well, we're going to want to attack right now because we're going to have a whole bunch of enemy troops marching on us if we don't. <laughs> so we need to take the city now, otherwise we'll fight a large force outside the city, which c could be a good thing. I'm starting to get legionary cavalry, which is pretty damn awesome. But let's knock... So let's capture the city first.
This is a fine day to be a Roman going into battle. Damn right. Okay. Okay. Get quite some quite broad coverage then with these towers. So attacking here, this wall can be a bit difficult because you want to get under. You get shot at from both these towers. So let's put put a unit on the towers that are going to need that are likely to need to fight the most. Then we've got two saps. And Velites. With Velites can sap, can't they? Yes, they can. And can the Cretan archers sap? They can. So then behind... Behind each sap, we're going to have a few chunks of infantry to go swarming in. Now oh, you're following that unit. Okay. Two for the right. Okay, let's give you let's give you this triarii. You're with them. You're on your own. These two units are sapping. Our cavalry is all is ready to rock and roll. You can see with Equites, they just get a they got a they're not as armoured as the a leather jerkin type thing, but they're not as armoured. A unit of archers that's not gonna be doing anything. And a unit of dogs that's gonna hunker down. So the walls that can the units that can get to the walls get up there. See these aren't poor quality units either. That's the thing to bear in mind. Our shackers are now digging beneath the walls. Soon the stones will mark enemy graves. We're gonna start digging our way in. But this is why I was keen to get another unit down here to help support this combat. See, I know these guys were good, but I don't know, I can't remember if the, how good they were compared to Praetorians. Praetorians are pretty good. But I just don't remember. But that's why they've got reinforcements. So they can mass in one... So they can mass in one... Well, they can mass together because they're isolated. Again, sapping the walls isn't too bad. These Phalanx pikemen should go down pretty well. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now there will be hard fighting to break the defenses. So let's run these men up to take their position up on that wall as well. Because we can sandwich these Phalanx pikemen pretty well, and then the other can. What was another unit of Bastane up on the wall? Because they're nearer the centre of town, they've got a whole bunch of these. Rome's finest. The Praise the gods! The siege towers are at the walls! Now the real fight begins! Run. I don't, don't necessarily run, but just get get up there. Well they're booking it. Come on you men. Start scaling. Now you run. You want to get shot at otherwise. At least we'll be able to capture this tower. We may, be, may have to temporarily march it, run in and secure the gatehouse. There we go. So the Phalanx Pikes have pulled back, the Bastane have pushed up. I probably don't need to capture these sections here because I can push up to get to this square here. Is that the market? Temple of Dionysius. 
like your temples of that chap here, don't you? God, those Bastani, they've abandoned the war. Too bad all our men aren't in there, because then they might be able to have toppled it and get some kills. I mean, maybe these phalanx pikemen, they might experience some trauma. I haven't played this for so long. I've forgotten the relative. Hey, they're holding their phalanx is down. I never even knew they did that. They're trying to create <laughs> a Roman rebar. Oh, no. There goes some, and there goes the rest. There goes a few more. A few Bustane. Okay, Praetorian Cohort, go engage these chaps. So this will be a bit of a test. I don't like how they've they've immediately started fighting. It says the victory is certain for them. Secure that tower, that's what I'm bothered about. Because then that tower could do some good, f can provide some good fire onto the enemy. You can engage the Phalanx Pikemen as well. I just don't necessarily want them to go down, off, get off the wall. Now you can run through and engage them, that's okay. These Praetorians, they're losing men. says they're evenly matched but that's why we did dump another a unit of legionary oh no this one in the end it's just a unit of praetorians cool tattoos on some of them over here these men can run straight to that tower and capture these for Rome the legionary cohort may Run around and capture over to here. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. There you go, the tower's ours. So now they're going to start engaging these phalanx pikemen for free. Now the legionaries are starting to get up on the wall. This sort of thing cannot be underestimated because that's firing a lot of arrows. That's a good amount of free kills there. The tricky one is the gateway. That's no, that's not ours. Yeah, there we go. We've taken this wall here as well. Tempting to just bust in there with some cavalry to rout the initial Falksman charge. Or to rout the initial Falksman unit, then rush rush in with infantry to try and get one to run up onto the wall fairly quickly. Oh, the Praetorians might lose to the Bastani. Oh, no, there we go. We're stuck. Okay. It, it, okay, it's bouncing around a bit, but now we are shaken. If I bring my general over, maybe the buff might help. Oh, I could. I don't really want to use the rally troops for one unit like this, but. These legionaries can also get involved. That might cheer them up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Victoria. 
good. These guys are also going to get shot to the bejesus. So legionary cohort run over to there. Just take get the wall under our control. To be honest, who are they shooting at? Oh, okay. Let's run the count. Run the. Run some infantry in. Because ultimately, if we can actually hold them near. Hold them near the. Uh, the walls, then we will get a. A benefit from the towers fighting on our side. The Falksmen are falling pretty thick and fast. Okay, they're fighting to the death, so that's something, because they've got the legionaries sat behind them. But by Star by the looks of it, they are tough. So they're not gonna get a free a free march. Rally. I don't know how far the range is, but so I would like them to not have a free lunch and run run their way through. Let's get try get you up on the walls. You guys also come over here to fight the Bastanes. I don't want to lose control of the tower. Actually, no. You guys get up on the wall. Don't worry about the combat. Same with you guys. Really, you can also try. These men are just trying to organise themselves. These legionaries are likely to probably... They're going to die as well, fighting those, Bast those Bastani. Well, not entirely die, but... Okay, you guys fall back to about here so that the archers on the walls do some good damage to the pikes. They've been broken purely from the wall. You guys take that section. You guys charge him. We've taken the tower. So charge down those Bastane. Okay, what? <laughs> Hug some good javelins. Ah, there they go. So now, man, you you men advance. Uh. You men don't follow. Stay either side of the this tower to act as a to act as a uh, act as bait. Okay, good. Those guys are going to knock out the Bastane. Oh, he punched him in the face. You guys get off the wall. So I'm hoping these guys will march down. And as they try, whichever direction they'll go, my other unit will charge into the back. And this tower will get some good damage against them as they march in. As they march into range. So what have they got in the centre, actually? Let's get these guys to also go. Just keep going around, because what have they got in the centre? They have got Starne and unit of Phalanx Pikes.
Oh god, they're getting boiling oil poured on them. Okay, those units can just push up. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Push you up as well. It looks like they're not going to rise to our bait on that flank, but where's my other cavalry? Let's get you in around to this flank. Because we've captured these towers. Let's probably get just this last one in case he can lob shots a bit further than we suspect. No, uh, Cotes don't push all the way up. A lot of these units are still trying to dismount the wall. Actually, you guys both halt. Push up our triario. They can't... Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Stay where you are. See these guys? This is a great way to fight them. Because they keep coming at us. Because they want to do some damage. My men are stood here waiting. Whichever direction they face, we'll be charging them from the rear as well. And they'll be just devastated by the fire from the towers. My troops are coming back. I mean, you guys can fire at will. Because you're going to huck some good... Some good javelins. Okay, now they've done that. These guys can just push up as well. One lone phalanx unit. But don't worry, they're getting shot at. Alright. You guys just attack these pikemen. There are so few in number, they aren't actually able to form a phalanx. looks like if I let them if I let them get to this choke point they probably still will get these other so get one unit to be on the no don't go into oh okay they're so they're so weak they they break at the next at the first drop of a hat These guys are all running around like mad things. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. I mean, are you going to go try and... Okay, you guys actually may as well form a position here on the flank of those pikes. I mean, those men are quite spaced out. So if I just set them to charge, my cavalry can then get involved and hopefully carry on and just engulf the... Uh, engulf the general's bodyguard. And then let's run my archers up. If that is indeed where they're going. Okay, they've turned.
No, uh, no, they haven't. Oh, good, they broke. Chase him down. Okay, these men are going to have to run over here. Bloody. Got some Triarii in there, so so those legionaries shouldn't be completely isolated. But I want to get my cavalry around into the rear of the general's bodyguard. I need to get them around here so that when I do that, the pathfinding does what I want it to. Generally, it seems to be they're not going to charge in, they're just going to bump into them. There we go. Now their focus is, is turned on by cavalry. You guys can engulf and destroy. There we go. He's been knocked out. Let's push up our infantry. Where's that a block of men? Can you all... Work on getting up there. Get this cavalry up in the mix. Let's not go too mad because there is that sneaky phalanx that is going to. Uh, Run the men in. Just, just get them all in. Got my cavalry waiting to hunker down over here. This legion unit that's with them can run. I mean, I've not brought my dogs into this at all. But they should fall. Well, no, I don't want to run too fast yet because I don't want them to commit their. Well, I need to. I need to throw one unit in just to help buy my guys some some time. There we go, just cut them to ribbons. Cavalry was an unintended result. Throw my... Get my equites out of there, select everyone bar cavalry. Let's see if I can get them to form a line. I don't think I will be able to in time. I would love to. Some effort at the point of demand. So we've got the Astane surrounded. The pikemen are going down. Losing a lot of men. That's another frantic charge into the maelstrom. Cassius at the age of 16 is witnessing such slaughter. This poor unit has <laughs> been pushed to the front.
But they are surrounded. Well and truly surrounded. They can't point their, point their pikes in any direction that they would like. So let's just watch the, watch the death happen. There we go. <laughs> Certainly not for free, but that was a good victory. Piddles are not an effective fire suppressant. No doy. Let us exterminate the population of this settlement to cheer him up. Get rid of the Temple of Dionysius. Replace it with a good... First of all, retrain as many of our troops as we can. Retrain, replace it with a good, proper Roman temple. Combine these forces behind the city. Although, to be honest, you could make quite an impressive bow unit. Or bow army. Although that might actually draw them into battle earlier than I'd like. Too late. Dumb decisions. Okay, let's check out the building. Let's get a building going in Bilozora, which is probably going to be roads. Because you've still got dirt roads. Sardis, let's get uh, probably a temple. Nicomedia is very unhappy. Squalor's getting up there, but that's why we've got the public baths being built. And let's put a temple behind it. So we've got down to Nicomedia. Tarsus, still unhappy. Byzantium, unhappy. Pergamum, unhappy. Sir. We're doing what we can. I, I mean, this should almost I, I, certainly Captain. help. Sir. Deploy some governors to some of these territories. I, and these men march to the front. Okie dokie, so what have we got? City expands, Salona. Build that straight away. A suitable husband. Servius Lanus. Yes. No, he's in, he's in Salona as well. General. Thessalonica. Ceasefire in effect in Spain and Scipio. Rhesius of Patillus is our new merchant who is up here at Polarissum. He's monopolizing the iron. Resistance is futile to this. We put them to the sword. And we've also welcomed a new member into our family. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing battles that we face on all fronts. Cheers, everyone.